Hey, how's it going, Yankees fans? Yet again, this is Felix from NYNews.com. Como estas? Hey, Yankees fans and fans around Major League Baseball. It is confirmed. It just came out that Manny Machado is still on the trading block. This tweet coming from Dan Clark, Dan Clark Sports. The Orioles and Indians spoke this past week about a potential trade for Manny Machado. What does this mean? This means that Dan Duquette does not want Major League ready pitching because obviously the Indians may be offered Danny Zalazar and a couple of prospects, but we know that the Indians' farm system has been depleted and they don't have those top prospects to, let's say, make a trade for Manny Machado. Dan Duquette on record just three weeks ago in Orioles Fan Fest said, hey, in 2018, we are going to go out and build our rotation. But he was talking like Manny Machado was still going to be on the ball club. Make no mistake, if the O's are shopping Machado to start 2018, they are rebuilding. They want to stack their farm system with caliber arms, with pitchers that have a few months or years until they're ready for Major League Baseball. And what team has all that? The New York Yankees. The New York Yankees are perfect trade partners with the Orioles at this point. Obviously, the Yankees will be doing the Orioles a favor if they trade with them. Obviously, sending out prospects. What can the Orioles do in return? They can't take Jacoby Ellsbury out of the Yankees' hands. Obviously, a trade with the Yankees, trading Manny Machado to New York. The Orioles will come out automatic winners. Supposedly, you'll be renting Manny Machado for a year, but we all know the Yankees are going to sign him or attempt to sign him for 2019. So, like I said, the only logical trade partner the Orioles have are with the New York Yankees. Obviously, they didn't trade Manny Machado because the Indians were probably, like I said, offering a package of Danny Salazar and players possibly that are currently on the Indians roster. So I told you this close to two weeks ago that Manny Machado was becoming disgruntled with the Orioles. He skipped out on Orioles Fan Fest. Showalter, Duquette expressed that they were disappointed in Machado. Obviously, behind the scenes, if the Indians are contacting the Orioles, if the Orioles are contacting the Indians, you better believe the Yankees have done the same and are frequently checking in for Manny Machado. Now, even more than ever, since Todd Frazier signed with the Mets. Now, more than ever... The Yankees have not went out and signed a player to a minor league contract to back up third base. They did it with second base with Danny Espinosa, but I highly doubt he can play third base. All this talk about the Yankees are going to start and the hard third. Listen, he's not Aaron Judge. He is not Gary Sanchez. If that was the plan, and the whore would have seen more time in 2017. He only saw like two or three games or one game if I remember correctly. He is not going to start the season at third base. He's probably going to start in the minors. Yes, his defense is not that great. Like I said, I highly doubt he starts the season with the Yankees. Like I said, when the Yankees develop players, they call them up a year prior, show them the big leagues, then they make the decision if they are going to become an everyday player. We haven't seen that yet with Andahar. Now, as for Torres, he hasn't been called up to the major leagues, but he's a prodigy. He is a different breed. He is an automatic pencil in guy in your lineup. He is a projected all-star. We don't know that if that's the case with Andahar. So, here it comes. The Yankees have what the Orioles want. The Yankees have Adams. They have players like Tate. They have so many... Young arms, like a Montgomery, 
like a Sessa who hasn't been proven in the major leagues. But if given the chance, Sessa can be effective in a rotation as a third starter. Given the chance, Sessa, like I said previously, when the Mets traded him to the, the Tigers, Sessa was ranked higher and better than Fulmer. And we all saw what Fulmer is capable of. So, it has been confirmed. Manny Machado still on the training block after all that PR came out. Oh, are we going to move him to shortstop? That was them trying to make a disgruntled player feel better. Obviously, Manny Machado knows what's going on. He, know, he hears about the chatter. He knows there's a possibility that he might. Or he can pressure the Orioles to trade him to the New York Yankees. He needs to start speaking up. Or he's probably going to end up on a team like the Indians where he probably doesn't want to play for a year. Get this done. The Yankees need a third baseman. Obviously, the Yankees want to sell tickets. They just signed that football player, Russell. Obviously, trying to copy what the Mets did last year with Tebow or two years prior. Yes, obviously, Russell Wilson is a PR stunt. The Yankees, like I said are looking to attracting ratings, selling tickets, and it's a no-brainer. If you could get Manny Machado, if Peter Angelos gives Dan Duquette the green light, you do it. The Orioles are looking for starting pitching for the future. The Yankees still have closers that can be moved anytime, and the Yankees can recoup prospects by trading away a closer. So, the idea that the Yankees are going to deplete their farm system going after Machado, that's not the case. They have players other teams want still, and they can recoup on prospects. So, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Along with sharing the videos, share the main domain, NYNews.com. As always, share, like, and subscribe. If you're a Yankees fan, get excited. Manny Machado is still on the training block. I will check you guys out next time.